Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1989 the arcade experience more so than a computer because obviously this was released on the Commodore have a gameplay of that and the Spectrum have a gameplay of that and also the Amiga and the Atari ST and DOS and while DOS, Amiga and ST look nice when they're not moving have rich colours and kind of look like the arcade the minute they start moving they look pants to me the NES version is far 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 superior when it comes to smoothness and overall feeling towards the arcade maybe that's just me but hey and like i said it's a console series versus arcade now um obviously i cannot tell you what a phenomenon the ninja turtles were or in this country the hero turtles uh, were in the late 80s and early 90s uh, they were just absolutely huge obviously i'm Reaching to the converted, if you're of my age, but created by Eastman and Laird originally. And then was it Mirage Studios who brought them to TV? And yeah, absolutely fantastic. Toys, shirts, bedspreads, you name it. A live action movie. In fact, the, the craze was kids would buy terrapins, wouldn't they? And then they got too big or they could naturally carry salmonella. So they started flushing them down the toilets. And so the sewers were absolutely right with terrapins, at least in this country, in the early 90s. By the way, I, I loved the original live action movie by um, Golden Harvest. That was an absolutely fantastic movie. And that was the first time it was called Ninja, not Hero Turtles in this country. Now, obviously, it was ported to the NES by Konami themselves, but because of the restrictions on the, or the licensing restrictions on the NES, you know, which were just like, they were just, well, they were ridiculous, you know, um, Monopoly much. You could only release a certain number of games, apparently, to guarantee quality. So they just created another studio called Ultra, but as far as I can tell, it was still essentially Konami. Anyway, that's enough of that. The first time I saw this machine, albeit in its Hero Turtles form, was in that amazing arcade I always go on about in Westwood Ho, uh, and it was the four-player version. Being a massive fan of the cartoon at the time, absolutely, me and my brothers loved it. And it still holds up. It looks amazing. It's got the intro and the music from the, uh, the TV show. This is a game that, you know, when people say you put on your nostalgia goggles, I swear I don't for this. It's just, to me, this is just... Perfection. Konami were the legendary guys in stuff like this, you know, in the Simpsons. They, they owned beam ups based on properties back in the day. Anyway, right, let's put some money in. Boom. So, thing is, it never got a port to the SNES, uh, but, well, we'll talk about that when we play the uh, the NES version of it, but the Mega Drive was around in 88, so they're, I mean, we're, how big were players with Konami on the Mega Drive, go with Rap, he was always my favourite, still is my favourite. Uh, yeah, how big players with Konami on the Mega Drive in the early days? Because while there is a Turtles game on the Mega Drive, was it the Manhattan Crisis? I can't remember because, or um, something came, because I played the, uh, the Japanese version in the video, which looks just like the arcade, but it's loosely based on Turtles in Time. You know, that came out later on and showed that it could do an arcade port. I was always gutted that there was no arcade port on the Mega Drive, because surely, it could do a bang up job. Anyway, so as you know, punch, jump, kick, punch and kick at the same time. You've got your special attack. Fire at the bottom because obviously April's the world's biggest victim. We jump from one roof to another. Splinter telling us to go and rescue her. And you've got the foot plan who are robots because apparently it's cheaper to build robots, yeah, really, uh, than just recruit badass ninjas. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe Splinter, uh, or Shredder, sorry, it's got a conscience underneath all that shreddering stuff and yeah it doesn't feel bad look at him sneaky bastard um yeah like killing robots but does ninjas balls i've never worked out what they were buildings on fire and shit and you know like the the, the foot clans here and stuff 
but you could swap their shurikens out of the way in midair. But what's the deal with the balls? Is there some bloke up there pushing, pushing them down just in case I happen to go by the stairs? But anyway, music great. Graphics are lush. Like I said, this game has aged so well. It used to be on Xbox Live, didn't it? Which means it would have been on HD, but like, much like anything, and the Simpsons did, it got taken down. Shame. And if you still got it on your hard drive, then you're a winner. Because completely unrelated to this, I've still got Spot Pit Spot? Scott Pilgrim versus the world on my hard drive. Sweet, but yeah, different. I don't know what the, the deal is. Is it how they attack, what they throw at you and stuff? But yeah, different kind of foot clan. Well, these things are annoying bastards. I know that. Sad, sad, trying noises. Look at the animation, right? Right. Can't go into the. F oh look, turtle soup. Anyone? I'm fine. I'm fine. It's alright. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Right, let's try a special move. Is it like a normal, um... Oh, that's April. She means business. Uh, is it like a normal canary game where we'll beat him up when I do my special move that it takes down my health? I don't know. But yeah, loved the cartoon back in the day. Obviously, before DVDs and so you used to buy volumes of it, but they'd only have like two, maybe three episodes of tape, but they were full price DVDs. Yeah, what sort of ninja uses a bloody gun? Your mate's got the right idea. Maybe it's because he's in the red suit, which means like Star Trek Wars he died. So he thought, fuck it, I'm carrying a gun. But yeah. You know, nothing's stopping you from running the other way. And all the turtles had this weird cross species crush on her, didn't they? Because that wasn't strange, was it? And or illegal. Right, I haven't got a dash. Strange. No, I'm proving I'm scatting my memories. Bebop or Rocksteady? Which one is this dude? I can't remember. But yeah, I mean, it looks like the cartoon, but it's just, I, I don't know, you get the impression it was a labour of love. Not just a case of they knew that it was a big thing at the time and they could make loads of money off it, but it was important to be close to the source material. Though when I say source material, the original source material was very dark, hand-drawn, black and white, um, Eastern lead comic books on what? It wasn't Mirage, that was who bought the rights, that was the Possified version, but I had some of them on back in the day when they first came out and they were dark. The turtles didn't talk and stuff. Um, Splinter would swallow uh, like magical chess pieces so he could have a vision. Um, one of them got their hand cut off. I think there's graphic novels, but they cost a fortune, but yeah. But this obviously based on the cartoon and stuff, it is. It, it's a testament to attention to detail and effort to your source material. Right. So listen to your life. Can you carry? I can't remember you carried. I'm gonna have to fucking download or look up some of the series. The, the original series is still my favourite. I mean, obviously there's been various Nickelodeon ones, various you know computer graphics ones. That amazing one when they all you know. Cro hey, were you just waiting in there the whole time? Jump out the window. Sexy. Yeah, that one where they all entered into the same universe, including the Dark Turtles from the original. Um, tonight. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I love you, Turtles. And like I said, kids growing up today, you like the new Turtles, you, you do not know. Uh, I'm not sure kids even watch my channel. What a phenomenon this was. Boom. There you go. They should show out because they're robots and shit. You're a robot and shit. I'm just taking out the parking meters because I'm being friendly to uh, motorists. Not enough people are. As a motorist myself, we get shit on, so... Everyone, free parking is on me! <gasps> Who's saying help? Oh, it's, she's on the TV! Tonight I died on turtle soup, but what, what's that got to do with her? A romantic meal for two. That's what it's got to do with her. Oh, look, boomerang! Alright, I'm just trying to... Oh, look at that! And... It goes through the boomerang. They do have a certain weird drunken strut to them, don't they, the Foot Clan? Yoink! Listen to the epic music. Yoink, yoink! Is it actually going to update? I'm not get I mean, as good a rendition as it is, is this all there is to the music? Oh, getting close and you got a throw, isn't it? Oh, how can that do that to me on the back? I got a fuck off great shell on my back. And rinse and repeat. Right, I think you get the impression, but yeah, what a lovely, lovely, lovely looking arcade game. And Turtles in Time, which I probably will do in this series of videos as well, 
is even better looking, but that does not detract from this being eye candy uh, in itself. Anyway, let's jump on to the NES version. So this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game on the NES, released by Ultra Games, basically Konami, in 1990. And obviously you know it's called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, because there was another game, uh, an original Turtles game, um, which was massive, and also came out on everything, but was, um, well, it was a re-skin... Um, different game it was never originally a turtles game and it's infam infamously hard and to be fair massive amount of nostalgia for it or not from certain people it's not a particularly good game so yeah this came out in 1990 so obviously the super famicom came out in uh did it come out in 1990 and it was what 1991 for the american or north american snares i don't know i'm mixing up my years but all i know is um could I mean, I'm guessing because of the, you know, um, the close association um, with Konami and Nintendo in those days meant that that's probably why when I was talking about it at the end of the last, uh, or the first part of this video, it never got a release on the Mega Drive. Um, but, yeah, it could, could this have come out on the Super Famicom? I don't know. I'm guessing they just wanted to get it out and to capitalise on the, uh, you know, the love that people had for the arcade game and obviously the strength of the brand and, and, and make some money. But, as I said, this to me is the most faithful, uh, accurate and playable, well, not entirely accurate, we'll get to that, playable home port of um, the Turtles arcade machine. Yes, it's, I mean, it's the best 8-bit port by far, Spectrum, Amstrad, Commodore, this, this is this incredibly superior as you would expect. And obviously it's single, simultaneous, two-player. And the 16-bit versions as I mentioned, and the DOS version, yeah, they have a higher or better colour you know range than this uh and look good good stationary but they don't do not play well that's just my opinion and i i just think this is feels more like and again to the arcade machine itself right i mean if i had this back in the day as a kid let's get started uh on the nes i would have this would have blown my mind i would have been totally happy with this this is the arcade game it looks totally cool and all right to me so you got thinking you got your four turtles We'll go with Raph for the purpose of, you know, matching up with the, uh, the start. Consistency, I think, is the word I was looking for. Boom. Now, when I said not entirely accurate, that's because this has extended some of the state. Oh, look. Obviously, you're not going to get a song. Probably due to memory constraints, but there you go. They got the intro from the, uh, the arcade machine. Somewhat, you know, so that's cool. I mean, you'd be used to these, uh, it, particularly at this point, you know, in 1990, these cut down, slim down, you know, arcade ports, but fire at the bottom, music during the game, all my details top left, uh, logo top right, which would be the other player's health, so you got fire, jump, fire, special move, which they've changed into a, I don't know, is that an animation thing? Jump, twat, you know, side move, but yeah, this looks like the arcade, I really do think it does. Obviously, limitation of number of characters on this, look at them, come on, tell me the Foot Clan do not resemble the arcade. you got Flicker Town, which you do expect on the NES, but yeah, like, I, this would have rocked my world back in the day. I mean, if you want to see how much better it is than the 8-bit versions, uh, of, you know, like the, the, the micros out in the UK at the time, I've got a gameplay very recently of the Commodore 64 version, which is pretty impressive, don't get me wrong, but doesn't hold a fart to this. And the Spectrum version, which is impressive as well, but it's a monochromic, you know, uh, sludge, awkward, slow play fest. I don't know, that got away from me, but yeah. And it doesn't suffer from the number of bad guys on the screen, which is, you know, like other two player fighters of the system, you know, not at the time, but before the time, which would be Devil Dragon, where was it, two sprites or something? I don't know, it's been a while. Wait for it. Oh, not yet. See, look, they've got the same flying kit, they've got the same moves and everything. Like I said, I'm not sure why I've lost my special move. But playing this with a buddy back in the day, you know, two player, I, yeah, this is this would just be the arcade for me. Right. You got balls, you got a ball, now you got a ball again. Because that, oh, two balls. I'll stop saying balls in a minute. And they keep coming. And aren't they bigger than the arcade? Yeah. So, I mean, the fact that you've got extended levels and extra stuff, to me, means that this was also, they really wanted to not just bring bring it home, but put a little bit extra into it. So, I don't know, again, with the people who converted, was this also like a, we really must do justice to the source material? Like I said, I mean, I'm sure there'll be people, the Amiga, the Atari ST, and maybe the DOS. I mean, they brought out the DOS XD version, because back in the day, I mean, the Amiga and Atari ST were hella expensive compared to the NES and stuff, but people had them, you know. 
Richard uh, and stuff like that. I mean, my brother had it because he had part-time jobs at the time, the time and stuff like that. But yeah, they, they were doable for kids, but DOS wasn't. I mean, who had a PC as a kid? Maybe you've got to play on your dad's and stuff, but yeah. But yeah, look up gameplays and you see what I mean. This, to me, it's far more faithful. Uh, it's a playing it as well, you know, with it being smooth and not... Hey, you could chuck the shuriken out the air as well. And playing it and be smooth and not, like, jagged and, you know, kind of sketchy in the way it moves. Non-fluid. I swear to God I'll learn to talk one day, not in this video. But, yeah, this, that's what I mean. This, to me, is look at the screen, forward. Look at the screen, forward. And repeat. Yeah, that's what I mean about this just being the best conversion to the home machines. Now, like I said, I probably will do Turtles in time, but there's no denying. Maybe because of the how big Turtles was and the, the impact it had when it first came out. Look, I'm twatting his projectiles out of the air as well. Um, but the first arcade machine, I will always, you know, graphically inferior, not by much. Basically scaling effects to the, um, the second one, but it, it will always be this arcade machine. It, like, just blew me away the most. I like them just as well they are robots. He's been waiting for footsteps so he can jump out the door, but he's been in there with a fire. Uh, so no oxygen to breathe, and ultimately when he opens the door, so there'll be a massive backdraft and he should die. Never mind, that's real world stuff, but yeah. Maybe that's where he went with these things. Because, you know, hey, they don't need air, they don't need shit, we can... Oh look, we've just gone full screen. Look at that, that's an emulation thing. Yeah, you know, they, they don't need to breathe, they can handle smoke and shit. No idea why I went full screen, having pissed around with the settings, but yeah. Why send a human to do a robot's job anyway? That's Paulie from Ro Rocky, he knows. Right, so many 80s references in this. Totally long level, dude. Come on. You ain't. Die! Why won't you die? This definitely feels longer. So this, that's what I mean, extend the level. So are all the levels extended? Because this is rocking way longer than the, um... The arcade. And also there's three of those. It's got that e epic tinny noise as well, which is awesome sauce. Did they take more hits? So I have no idea what my TV screen's doing, apart from pissing me off. Die! There you go, that's the future. Check out them apples, right. Oh, you got a screen for April, it does have some speech. Obviously the colour palette you would expect, it's an 8-bit as well. But yay! It's certainly set the mood. That's creepy saying that, because they all fancy April, don't they? You know, you got a roaring fire. Sweet. I really knew need to add some more NES uh, arcade conversions to this, uh, he's awesome, to this playlist. That's pause. I was trying to, um, you know, add more money, but yeah, how many continues do I have? That's the other thing, isn't it? I, I completely forget about it. I'm trying to see my special attack just whittles him down, but... Flash is red! I don't care that you're almost extinct in the wild. Are you shitting me? No continues. Oh. They mean business. Oh, no, we do. I was just going to say. Oh, no, don't. Oh, you cheap shots. Oh, well, I can't continue in the same spot. Well, I got to the boss, so you at least saw that. But, yeah, it's round up. You know, it's not, it's never going to deliver it, obvious reasons, and I feel stupid for wording it like this, an arcade perfect version of it. I mean, but that was the kind of the charm of these sort of 8-bit conversions to, you know, um, the arcade machines, which I've kind of touched upon when I've compared some of the Sega 8-bit ports, you know, Master System to the arcade equivalent, because there were no 16-bit versions. But... It certainly, to me, plays like and feels like the arcade and does more than enough, you know, impressive a visual representation. It's awesome. But I would love to know what you think. Did you have this back in the day? You know, I'd like to know more so than, you know, people think having had the NES version, you know, coming off the arcade and the other ports, because like I said, I, that's why I didn't include them. But anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. What about the strangest urge to say, Turlapa? Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.